All right, Pokey Pals, we're changing it up here on the channel. We decided to play Scarlet and Violet. I played the whole game when it came out. Now the second DLC came out, and I didn't play the first DLC, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the DLCs. I decided to only use shiny Pokemon, so we're going to encounter only shiny Pokemon and only use shiny Pokemon to beat the DLCs. This will be a couple episodes that we'll do this for. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, like, so you can keep an eye on what we're doing here. Um, I did, at the beginning here, you'll see that I'm bumping into Sand Shrews. Unfortunately, we didn't get a shiny one of those, but you got to wait and see because we did find three shinies in this video. Actually, four shinies in this video. And what's crazy is it only took me about an hour and like 40 minutes, which, which is absurd to me. I mean, usually, like... When, I'm when I was playing Scarlet and Violet at the beginning, it would take me about, I want to say a whole day of playing, or it'd be like three, four hours of playing, and I'd get maybe one, maybe two shinies most. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to jump out of the Sand Shrew nest and jump straight into what we got going on. All right, now we're over here in a different part of the DLC. I don't know what this area is called, but I found a Litwick spawn. So we're going to try and catch a shiny Litwick. To be honest, it was really funny because I didn't even realize that it was a shiny. Like if you see right there, so it's on the screen, but I barely could tell that it was a shiny. I was like really confused, so I didn't save the game. I just kind of ran straight into it, which you'll catch here in a second. And then I, in my head, I was like, oh, doesn't this have a move that kills itself? I think it has a move that kills itself. And I'm over here and I'm contemplating what to do. I was thinking about running from it, but I was like, you know what? No, we're just gonna give it a shot. We're gonna just go ahead, jump into this. No holds bar. I even switched my Pokemon for some reason. Don't ask me why I switched my Pokemon. I should have just started throwing uh, Pokeballs at it, but we didn't do that. So we end up, we're, we're battling it. I know it has, I think it's Memento, the move. It decreases your special attack all the way down and it kills itself and in my head I'm like you know it has this move but maybe I'll get lucky so I'm trying to figure out I like matching the ball to the Pokemon most of the time especially when it's a shiny um, so I decided I was thinking about the luxury ball but we decided to switch it up to I don't remember to be honest so let's go ahead and see what we switched it up to I was thinking because the flame was blue that maybe to pick a blue ball I don't like using Pokeballs, Great Balls, or Ultra Balls. I guess we chose a Premier Ball. Don't ask me why. And we throw that and it, it bursts right out. And then it uses Overheat. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. Whew. Whew. <laughs> We're good. We're good right now. And then what we end up doing is we switch our Pokemon. Do we switch our Pokemon again? I have to stick with it. Why would I switch the Pokemon again? My mistake was I didn't realize that it had that move to kill it. Well, I knew it had that move to kill itself. I just didn't really plan this very well, to be honest. I should have saved beforehand as well. That was another mistake I made. Don't ask me why I sent out the Swaddle. Used in prison again, and then I'm right now just kind of gambling. I'm hoping I have a move to, like, hit it down so then the next ball I throw will be a little bit better. I used Bug Buzz at does absolutely nothing and then it kills itself look at that it kills itself and i'm flipping out at this point i'm like come on i bump into a shiny it's been an hour of hunting and it just kills itself so that was great i i swore a lot there for sure now you're not going to believe this but like 10 minutes later I bump into another one. I'm here thinking there's no way this is a shiny. I keep throwing the Pokemon at it. And then I realize, all right, I got to save. I gotta... This time, we're going to save the game and we're going to make sure we catch it because the last one we tried to catch, it did not go well. It, it killed itself. And then now I'm looking at my box and I'm thinking, what should I use? Should I try to use a Pokemon that maybe Memento doesn't work against? And in my head, I don't even know, to be completely honest. I just don't have a clue what works for this, unfortunately. So then I kind of drop back, um, I'm, I'm thinking about switching to a different Pokemon, and in reality I end up not doing that. I end up just going, you know what, 
let's just jump into this, see what happens. I'll just throw some balls at it, hopefully it goes in. I decided on a premier ball. To be honest, I don't really know why I decided on a premier ball. Kind of wish I picked a ball that has a little bit more blue because it's a blue flame, but I guess I was just throwing a ball at it. And we end up catching it. And I, it was like the complete opposite of the last interaction. Complete opposite. And I was just baffled at this point. I was like, really? It went into one premier ball without hitting it or anything. And the last one jumped out of, I think it jumped out of two balls. Or was it one? It was one ball. But, oh, jeez. Geez, I, just, I couldn't believe it. So that was the first shiny that we ended up catching for our team. So we have a shiny Litwick. Let's go ahead and jump to the next encounter. Alright, some context of why I'm in this part of the DLC. It was a spawn of... Oh shoot, no, I don't remember. It was a spawn of Litwick. And I went through the, the whole entire encounter and I got absolutely no shiny Litwicks. This was the hour before catching or bumping into the two uh, beforehand. So I was really frustrated. So now I'm back in this area. I'm just kind of looking around. Sometimes when when you're just looking around, you get lucky and you, you bump into something. So just hold on to your chair because we're going to take a right here. And you're not going to believe what... If you see it in the distance there, it's a shiny bell sprout. And what was funny about this too was I was while I was playing this game, I was talking to my brother. And I was like, oh, it'd be so cool if I got a shiny bell sprout. And you're not going to believe, this was probably like 20 minutes after I said that, and there it was, the shiny bell sprout. And I wasn't, I wasn't hunting this. I just, like, bumped into it by accident, which was awesome. So my team right now, it's a Litwick and a bell sprout. I mean, come on now. That's a pretty sick team. And we ended up catching it with one ball, which is absurd to me. I, I kind of wish they would make the catching a little harder in this game. I don't understand why it's so easy, even though I did have a shiny run on me, but still. So, our second Pokemon is Bellsprout on the team. Let's go ahead and jump to the next encounter, which I'm really excited for. Also, the Litwick evolved because of the XP. I have to get a Firestone to evolve it. I haven't done that yet, but I will. And then at some point, we'll start getting the right moves on it. Same thing with the Bellsprout. I, don't, I didn't get a Leaf Stone. I probably have a Leaf Stone, I just haven't evolved it yet. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's jump into the next encounter. This one was funnier. So <laughs> get excited for this next encounter that we ended up bumping into. All right, so now now we're in the water here. Um, what actually ended up happening was I saw a shiny Yanma. It was blue. I swear it was blue. I saved the game and then I went to go bump into it and I I didn't see it. It it either despawned or maybe it like lagged into the little cliff there you know, falling into the water. I didn't have a clue. I was flipping out because Yanma is one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I'm a big, you know, bug catcher over here. So seeing the Yanma, I was, I was geeking out and then boom, it just disappeared. It just vanished, vanished from my game. I didn't know what to do. So now I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, what's going on? So I close it, I reopen it. So you're going to see me reopen it here in a second. Just waiting on that. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of cut this out. So, so now we're loaded back into the game. I don't see the blue Yanma. I'm, I'm really upset. I'm like, come on. We lost the shiny Litwick from it killing. And then there it is. There it is. Oh, I got, I got so excited. I was like, let's go. And then it started flying away from me, and I was like, no. But we bumped into that. So that was awesome really cool so we got the shiny blue yanma which i was ecstatic for i think i threw a netball at it i think that's the ball i picked which i mean pr pretty good for you know it's a bug pokemon so why not use the netball you know we're spongebob over here with our little net not catching jellyfish but dragonflies and we catch that shiny yanma and to be honest the team is looking great we'll end up having a yan mega a victory bell and a chandelure and uh, yeah, um, stay tuned to the channel. We'll go ahead and start playing Pokemon again to try to get three more Pokemon for the team before we start doing the DLC. And then we'll go ahead and jump into that DLC 
try to catch all the legendaries they have in that DLC and maybe bump into some more shinies on the way. So stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye now.